joined here with Morgan Starr and Brandon Earl. Brandon, I appreciate you joining me. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, your huge upset. I saw the t-shirt. You said you shocked the world. Uh, you certainly shocked the state of Indiana. But my question is, uh, when in, the end of the fourth quarter came, and that championship game, triple zeros, and the score were reached, Morgan 53, Bowman 49, how shocked were you? Uh, you know, it was just uh, it was overwhelming. I mean, uh, no one really thought we could win. We believed in ourselves, but uh, it's, it's just, we didn't know what to do. It was just a uh, great moment. You've obviously accomplished a lot of great things in your career. You uh, eclipsed a thousand point mark this season. And then you add to that winning the section championship the last Saturday night. Uh, where does that rank? Your career uh, it's definitely my greatest accomplishment. I mean, my number one goal coming out of varsity as a sophomore was winning a sectional championship, and it, it's, it's the highest goal I've reached so far. And when you when we lead up to that Bowman game, uh, obviously uh, you were there Friday night. You saw what they did to Cowboys. They basically manhandled them, did whatever they wanted. And you were sitting there watching what was going down. What was going through your mind at that point? What were you thinking as you see Bowman go up 40 against Cowboys? Um, I really wouldn't think, think much of it because I knew Cowboys was playing their style, which is you no know, disrespect to them, but they, they tried to run with them, which can't be done. And, and we knew we were going to slow the game up and uh, use our style to give us the best advantage. And, yeah, kind of alluding to that, uh, once you get to that Saturday game, you didn't have a lot of time to prepare for it. Obviously, you had to worry about beating a pretty good Whiting team. Uh, that same night, but going into it, what was your game plan? What did you feel that you had to do that maybe other teams like Cowboys didn't do that would give you a shot at the end? Of the game? Well, we actually uh, we've been preparing for two weeks before the second championship for them, and you know for those two weeks we just uh, we knew we had to slow down and control the momentum and uh, make them shoot outside, pack it in a little bit. We didn't really do a zone; we played a man, but we packed it into the lane, make them shoot from the outside, and just rebound the box out. That was, that was something that uh, obviously your team, almost any class A team from here in the ball, but, uh, not even going to have close to the closest eyes. What, uh, what was the emphasis on being able to rebound the basketball and not give up your second chance points like Cowboys did the night before? Well, our coach had two keys to the game, two major keys, and it was turnovers, not, a, not turn the ball over a lot, and rebounds. We, we had to get rebounds to win the game because we felt that Bowman's best offense is. It's their second chance points and you just had a minute to win it. Let's look ahead a little bit. Uh, obviously, you won the sexual championship. Uh, heading into the Triton Regional, uh, of course, I know you probably would love a shot at Triton in that, in that nightcap, but you got to worry about Fort Wayne Canberra first. Uh, have you seen film on them? What do you know about them? And, and what do you think you're going to have to do? How do you have to adjust your game uh, in that morning uh, game with uh, Canterbury? Going to have a shot to win everything. Um, like most teams we played, uh, they're bigger than us, and uh, we're just going to have to use our speed or quickness and uh, control the momentum of the game again. And you know, we're they're pretty young; they got a lot of sophomores. We got to use our experience with our seniors, and uh, we got to box out again. And give us a shot. Well, there you have it, folks. That is Brandon Grubel, and Brandon, thank you very much. I thank appreciate you. the time. Thank you.